Greetings YouTube. Hey, this is Mike. I've got another update. I have basically just got all of the, uh, the, I don't know, what would you call these, the, the plate, hull plating decals. Uh, this is a set that was downloaded from Starship Modeler, and, and you know, I, I have my heavy criticisms about that website, but you can't deny the fact that there are a lot of talented guys out there. Uh, one of those guys is a guy by the name of Carlos Zangrano, I believe. I, I'm, no, I'm probably butchering his name. Uh, he also goes by the name of Arthur Pendragon on, uh, on that forum. Uh, as well as a few other forums, I've seen him around. He's a really good guy. Really, a he answers his, answers all questions that that are posed to him. But this guy has uh, set up a really fantastic set of decals that are free to download from Starship Modeler. And uh, you know, again, you know, the guy does really good work. There's a couple of fit problems here and there, but nothing too, nothing that really screams out. You know, and um, I think, you know, despite, I spent all day yesterday putting these decals on, but I know I would have spent probably two to three days, maybe an entire week, just simply trying to paint these on. And uh, with Carlos's set, I mean, he, there's no problems with fit. There's no problems with, uh, actually, you know, I mean, if I would have painted this, I'm sure a lot of stuff would have come out slightly skewed, a little crooked. Uh, most of my panel lines are gone from this thing, so I'll probably have to, uh, what I may do is I may just try to pencil those in at a later date. I'm not, probably not going to do it right now, because, I mean, I, I just don't have the willpower to do it. I still have some more detail painting to do in little areas, such as this one, and I believe some touch-up needs to be done along the uh, my, my seams right here, where I still have some putty exposed but oh I uh, also have to work on this issue right here I didn't catch this till right now I've got a few air bubbles in some of the uh, the decals but little little work with uh, some microset and uh, those will be gone on the bottom again uh, I got another fat seam right well that's a decal that needs to be laid down a little better than that uh, probably have to cut that one to get that to fit down now, but these were really the only ones that had r any real issue with the size. Again, they kind of overlap, so I may just paint those out a different color just to make it look like that is a kind of a r ring around the detail, but oh man, I see a lot of little problems here that need to be laid down. Let me just cut that with my fingernail. But anyway, this is where I'm at right now. Today, I'm going to work on the... Ooh, excuse me. Did I spit or did I get rained on? <laughs> Sorry. I'm outside again. Um, but regardless, today I'm going to work a little bit on the stand to get the wiring set up in here. Um, this is what I've got right now. This is just the one little hookup with, for the main lights. And they're not so bright out right now because I'm, like I said, I'm outside. Whoa. So, they're not really showing up as bright as they would in, indoors, but they are showing up. I'm really happy with the lighting so far. I haven't screwed it up yet, but like I said, the day's still early. Um, so that's it for now. This is what I've got. Uh, I like, I kind of like the monochromatic tones of this. I mean, I used a clear decal sheet, so a lot of these colors don't really come out as prominently. I'm hoping that's not going to be the case with the red, because uh, you know, again, I did reset my own decals. This is not going to be the defiant. This is going to be the impervious. And you'll see that name right ar right around here, but the red striping, I'm afraid that it may be a little too too clear. May end up looking like it's purple. Uh, but I do have the original sheet. It's just that the original sheet is is yellowed. It's old. I'm not comfortable with using decals like that. 
but if worse comes to worse, I will. Uh, depending on how the red striping looks from the the set that I set up uh, for myself. But again, this is the impervious. This will be the impervious. A defiant class spaceship, starship from Deep Space Nine, which. Uh, once they added this ship, I mean, I, I think uh, the show really took off. They weren't as static as... What is that light showing? Not anymore. You know, it kind of gave them some... Anyway, regardless. I am not going to continue rambling. I'm going to just go ahead and cut this video off, but I just wanted to show you all what my progress was on this one so far. And... Uh, so far, so good. I haven't screwed anything up. Well, I haven't screwed up anything major. Uh, there are some screw-ups in here, uh, but I won't point them out, because, you know, then everyone will see it. <laughs> anyway, y'all take care. Y'all have fun. Happy modeling. See ya. Bye.